Donovan. I'm still seeing my original image, okay? So then let's talk about the layer stack. So then I have my layer stack here. And it's similar to Photoshop as well, but it's now introducing this idea that I have an immediate, inherent, and apparent grouping of objects. Right? So when I make a rectangle and on this layer, right, it's not making a new layer for that specific object. Right? It's actually taking and putting that path underneath layer one. So layer, it, layers in Illustrator are successively containers for successive objects. So to make new layers, it's, it's, it's similar to Photoshop um, insofar that I take my layer one and I can drag it down to the bottom here. And I'm going to drag my layers while I'm talking about that right out in the front here. So if I want to make a new layer, right, I'm dragging it all the way to the bottom. And for those of you in the back, it's probably better to put it right there. That makes my layer one copy. And again, renaming is similar as well. Um, I'm gonna call this, uh, I'm gonna call this stairs because we're gonna draw stairs at one point. And now you'll see when I make that new layer, anything that was contained in that, that layers grouping, so it's again, just a group, is now copied up. So I could go ahead and delete or not delete or whatever it may be. So I take that and I go right click. Ah, no right click. Go delete doesn't work either so i have to actually select that image and delete it off okay so that's a little bit of nuance that's happening with it you can only delete layers objects underneath layers have to be explicitly grabbed and deleted okay so, yeah if i want to have a blank layer absolutely i can just do that as well but i wanted to show you deleting so yeah you're absolutely right but that's good it means you're learning. That's good. I'm going to do that and call that layer then um, window. Right? So let's talk about uh, drawing. So when I draw in Photoshop or Illustrator now, sorry, dock that up, is I want to kind of be as, as rigorous as possible when I'm dealing with this idea of layers. Um, and how I kind of run with this is I end up with so many objects sometimes that you'll notice that the bounding object of my image is blue. So what corresponds with blue? If I make a new object on this, it's going to be green, and on my stairs, it's going to be red. So if I, well, locking it, if I double click, it brings up this layers option. So I can begin categorizing my objects based on colors. And that's really only there for like if I click layer one where my image is if I color that then magenta now when I select you'll see that it colors the objects on that grouping a specific color in the window so I start to visually be able to see um, stacking and this will make begin to start making a lot more sense in AutoCAD where we begin using colors for other things than just coloring okay so then drawing right there's a lot of basic tool sets and in um, Illustrator, the toolbars are definitely an important thing to know, right? You see me in Photoshop kind of stray a little bit away from that toolbar zone or so because that's not what I use Photoshop for. Um, not to say it's not it's bad or good, but it definitively inside here 